Hello, good morning. Welcome to Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional and Spiritual Breakfast with Rev. Mike Eniola. Welcome to Thursday, the 16th day of March 2023. Open your mouth this morning and be saying Amen as I pray for you and prophetically bless you. In the book of Matthew chapter 2, Matthew chapter number 2, I want to read verses 6, 7, and 8. Matthew chapter 2, verses 7 and 8. It reads, Then Herod, when he had privately, privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared, and he sent them to Bethlehem, and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when ye have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When Jesus Christ was born, the wise men threw the star they saw in the sky. They were led to the city where the child was born. But before they got there, they initially went to the palace of the king, probably thinking that such an individual could only be born or could only be given birth to in the palace. But as soon as he got there, Herod was taken aback and he had a mind to kill that baby. He said, go and search. Anywhere you find him, you bring word back to me. But the Lord warned the wise men never to take that route again. I want to pray for somebody this morning that the route where the enemies are waiting for, that you are going to pass the route so that they can attack you. I pray that the Lord God Almighty will go ahead of you and God will clear all the enemies on your ways. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, as soon as the wise men got there, as they passed the night, the Lord told them, don't follow that route again. Don't go back to the palace of the king. I am praying, whoever is planning, whatever plan or schemes they might have put in place to use, to double cross you or to destroy you completely, by the authority of God, as God used his own divine strategy to confuse Herod and his men, so God will confuse all your enemies. They will not be able to carry out their plans. In Jesus' name, I am praying for somebody this Thursday morning that all your heart desires and your prayers, heaven will grant them unto you. In Jesus' name, I am praying for somebody today by the leading of the Lord that you will not wear rags. The Lord will clothe you with new garment. The Lord will clothe you with new clothes. In Jesus' name, I prophesy that your going out today shall be blessed and your coming in shall be blessed. You will have no reason whatsoever to, to, to regret being alive today. In Jesus' name, all your prayers will be answered. Those of you that are being hold some money, I pray that the Lord will go and intervene and collect all your monies for you. And those of you that are in debt, you are going serious debt. I decree that the God of heaven will intervene and collect your money for you. In Jesus' name, you are blessed. And you are lifted. Somebody shout Amen. I believe as I receive. Praise God. Beloved, this Thursday morning, by the grace of God, we are going to be rounding up our, our Bible reading from the book of Matthew today. Yesterday we read Matthew chapter 24 and 5, 24 and 25. Today we are going to be reading the last three chapters of the book of Matthew, that is 26. 27, 28. Somebody asked a question. Said, do you mean we should read the whole chapter, 21, 22, 20? Yes. I'm not saying you should just read one chapter, a few verses. You read all the chapters. So today, we are reading chapter 26, chapter 27, and 28 of the book of Matthew. By tomorrow, if Jesus study, we shall begin the book of Mark. Gradually, we will soon finish. The Lord bless you. Let me take some testimonies this morning. Before we go to hear the word, testimony shared gives glory and praise to God. So I want you to listen and connect. The first one says, Testimony, testimony. Good day, Daddy Anyola. I am so so person from Oweri. How great is he that lives on the throne? He is too faithful to protect his people from danger. On the 17th of January, where we're still during the where we're still on, on the 30 days of fasting and prayer. I and my husband were sleeping in our room and my children in their own room too. I don't know what woke me up around 3.30 a.m. Lo and behold, a thief was standing outside 
the, the outside inside our bedroom window. He wanted to tear the net. I shouted, thief, thief. Immediately, he jumped the fence and ran away. I and my husband went to the parlor to check. Lo and behold, they had stored the net in the parlor window, but they couldn't succeed. I really thank God also for the numerous deliverance, healing provisions the Lord has been doing for me and my family members. Also to my sister-in-law, who is like a mother to me. She had an accident which happened when she was taking a bath. She fell in the bathroom and broke one of her legs. I mean, and broke one of her legs and one of her hands. But I thank God today she's recovering. All these are the wonders of God in my life through your daily devotional, your, your words, your teachings, your prayers towards mankind. May God bless you and keep you and heaven at last. Amen. To God be the glory. Another testimony, testimony, testimony. This is my first time of testifying on this platform. Everything happened this week. This week, Tuesday, when I received my pension alert, immediately I sent it as my first fruit. The following day, my son... That, has, that, that was doing a casual job somewhere that they have even laid him off. They called him back to resume work immediately. This is the only boy that is helping us in the house. The brother did several interviews, but they have not called him up to now. Thank you, Daddy, for your prayers. Your source of income will not run dry. Amen. All the way from Jaws. Let me take one more. This one says, Good morning, Reverend Mike and Ella. Please share my testimony for others to learn. I'm a daily listener of Hour of Destiny Daily Devotional. Any day I didn't, I didn't, any day I did not listen to your message or teaching, I will not feel okay until I do that. Before I will get myself, this is my first time to testify. Your teaching at the beginning of this year, 2023, concerning people who people owing others and refuse to pay and and have the money but refuse to pay. I was owing three people. The sum of 44,000 Naira, which I have, I have about 350,000 Naira in my account, but I refuse to pay them. But since, but since the day I received your teaching that some people are owing others, other people, and I've refused, I've refused, I've refused the money, but they, did, they have the money, but they didn't want to pay their debts. In my mind, I say I am one of the people that Pastor is talking to. So after listening to the teaching, I decided to pay them all. Since then, my house rent that I do suffer before paying, I was able to pay my house rent without stress this year, 2023. And to the glory of God, my family and I are doing great without people's debt on us. I have come to return all glory to God for using you to teach us how to do the right thing at the right time. The God of heaven bless you and your crew members for the kingdom business in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank God for that positive response. It is good to respond positively to the word of God. Today, we are still continuing on the subject of obeying kingdom principles. The first day, we talk about principle of holiness. We also talk about principle of righteousness. We talk about principle of timing, correct timing. Yesterday, we talk about principle of sowing and reaping. So today is a continuation of yesterday. We're going to pick it from where we stopped yesterday. I remember I did told us that if whatever you sow, it is a rule of life. And it is one of the principles that governs both heaven and earth. That whatever the man sow is what he's going to reap. Are you a mother that you are sowing bad seed, you, the seed of your mouth? You don't see any good thing in the life of your sons or daughter. I have a daughter in Abuja, I mean spiritual daughter. She said even all her parents, I mean her parents and even her siblings, everybody speaking negative words into her life. That is a seed. You, you, if you are that person, you are sowing seed. And whatever you sow is what you are going to reap. We read from the book of Galatians chapter 6 verse 7 that says God cannot be mocked. Be not deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever the man so you cannot sow orange fruit, orange seed and expect to harvest mango. It is not possible. You cannot plant corn today and expect to harvest yam tomorrow. It is whatever you sow, you will get. And like I said in closing yesterday, the harvest is usually more than the seed sown. So be careful and beware of the seed. Remember the law and the principle of sowing and reaping. 
We also read Genesis chapter 8 verse 22 where God says, As long as the heavens and the earth remain, seed time and harvest time will never cease. Anywhere you are in the world, it is not only peculiar to Nigeria, it is not only peculiar to Africa, it is a common practice or general practice all over the world. Whatever a man sow is what is going to reap. Can I address those of you in government today? You are in government, you are in power today, and you feel that you are on top of the world. You feel that you are the Almighty. Can I tell you, sorry, you are just a mere person. You are just a mortal individual. I remember a one-time governor in one of the states in the north central of Nigeria is a chief executive of a state. He died a few months or a few years ago. He died penniless. Before he died, he was blind. He had to be depending on people to feed him. But And yet, he was a governor during the Second Republic. I speak to you this morning. If you think you are in, you are in a particular office today, you are sitting on people's rights. You are depriving people of their benefits. The money they have worked for, you will not let them have access to the money unless you, you pay, unless they give you a bribe. It is a seed you are also sowing. You will reap it and your children will also get part of the harvest. Look at the issue of the cash crunch you are facing. You see, people that are, they, they, a lot of people now have made millions of naira through this crisis of cash crunch now, Christ, you know, scarcity of cash. But I can tell you that whatever gain you made through that dubious mean, it is not going to last. Are you cheating people? Are you, short, are you shortchanging other people? Are you thinking that you are making it, you are smiling to the bank? It is a seed that is going to be harvested tomorrow. So, so good seed so that you can harvest good seed. So good seed in the life of people around your people, people around you, your staffs, your subordinates, your colleagues. Look for avenue to sow seed of good word, word of encouragement, word of lifting. You see somebody who is, you see somebody who is down. Don't compound the product. Don't tell the person that I know, I know you will never get up in life. You are sowing a seed, but you can sow seed of good word, word of encouragement that can lift that person from that body. I put it to you this morning. Learn, I mean, obey the principles of the kingdom. The principle of holiness, principle of righteousness, principle of right timing, and principle of sowing and reaping. Tomorrow, we'll pick up another point. May the Almighty God bless you today. May the God of heaven increase and prosper you on every side. In Jesus' name. Remember, your Bible reading for today is... Matthew chapter 26, chapter 27 and 28. God bless you. Have a wonderful and a great day. Amen.